We're joined now by UC Riverside coach Mike Mike Pio. Coach, if you would start us off with an opening comment, we'll take a couple a couple of questions. Yeah, you know, they, we just couldn't get stops there. Um, I mean, it was an offensive game. Both teams were scoring. Uh, they just scored a little more than us in the second half. Um, it's funny enough, they they started playing Norris at the five, and that challenged our defense and opened up driving lanes for him just because he's such a good shooter. And then he made some threes. Um, so. Eight for fifteen for, for from three for them. That that is a that was a tipping point. I thought. Questions. Council Chu, eighty-eight point three KUCR Radio. You guys battled a tough team. I mean, trying to beat UCSB for the third time is a very ta challenging task. But look, twenty-one wins for the first time in school history. Three winning seasons in like your past three years. How can you uh, like? How proud are you with yourself and with this team? Or what like great takeaways can you come out with this? Oh, I mean, I had the time of my life this year with these guys. I mean, it was a great journey, starting with our um, Australia trip. And, you know, they're hurting in there, and so am I. But uh, they got nothing to hang their head about. And in fact, it, I mean, it was a great game. I mean, it was a really great game that could have gone either way. And um, it was a great season. And um, the thing that they'll, you know, they'll look back and be really proud of. I mean, they, a lot of accomplishments um, for our program, um, for them individually and us as a team, and setting records. Um, that's pretty cool to be a part of. So I enjoyed every second coaching this group. You know, every year is a different journey, and, th and this journey was, was special. Uh, Coach, um, just Flynn Cameron probably had one of his best games of his career. Zion had 24 points. March just kind of has, like, these type of moments when you don't come out on top. Just what's your message in the locker room? What can you say to those guys, like, in this moment uh, yeah. after all this is said and done? It's hard, man. They, they, they won't. They won't understand it right now until they look back and they're in each other's weddings and I'll be at all their weddings and they'll be I mean the, those two senior guards were what I mean what made me a good coach I mean having those senior guards were um, to stick with us and, and help build this program over the last three years um, and then they should they showed out today you know so I'm, I'm proud of those two and you'll see those guys in the future um, playing professionally for sure um, both of those guys have a real shot so you have seniors with Zion Pullen, Jamar Hill with a second, Flynn Cameron. Some may, may or may not even return. So what are your plans going for in, in this offseason and into the next? Yeah, I think I think we have a good, you know, uh, we're going to miss those senior guards and we'll have to make sure we re replace them. Um, but we got a good young core, um, guys that have a lot of experience. You know, I'm just looking at this Tattersall, Luke Turner, Lachlan Olbrich, um, Martinez kind of coming on at the end there, Nate Pickens. Um, and then we'll fill the gaps uh, as we need. And we've done a really good job in, in um, getting good transfers, good guys that fit our culture. And so it, it, we've, we've had a lot of success with that, and I think we can continue to do that. But no, we'll miss those guys. It'll be um, – we'll miss those three senior guards a ton. Coach, you had a historic season, Coach of the Year, several All-Big Wests, 21 wins. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you look back on this season and what your team did for the program and the university? And what are you looking forward to next season? Oh, just so much joy. I mean, it was just – I said it yesterday. Um, I, I'm not taking for granted how, how coachable this group was and how much they enjoyed being around each other. Um, so, I mean – uh, and then the success came along with it. And it's no surprise if you have the, the hardest working team and one of the harder working teams you've ever coached and you have great attitudes and a great approach and guys that are really connected, uh, something like this season can happen. So um, they really believed. I think they really thought that, um, you know, we were going to get it done tonight and, and find a way till tomorrow. So disappointing. Um, but uh, I love these guys, and, and, and it'll be really special to, to look back on this season. Um. You know, you've talked a lot about Zion and Flynn. What kind of legacy do you see these guys leaving behind? And who do you see filling their shoes next season, not just on the court, but in their leadership roles as well? Yeah, I mean, I think that we have a bunch of other leaders that, are, that have done a great job. Will Tattersall, Lachlan Olbridge, Kyle Owens, he'll, he'll, he'll be back hopefully next year again. You, you never know. But all these guys plan to be back, and I plan to have them back. But these guys built something, and they put us on another um, platform that we can build, build off some more. You know, I think that... Our goal is to get to Saturday night and, and get it done, you know. So it's hard to do, though. You know, it, it, it's um, you got to win three games in a row, and you got to be firing on all cylinders. And tonight, we just didn't didn't get the job done defensively. Um, but 
they've, they've, you know, guard you. I mean, we've got a great, great set of guards here. Zion Poole and Flynn Cameron, Jamal Hartwell, and I think other guards are going to want to play in this system. Um, we, we, do, we have a redshirt freshman that's pretty good, Barrington Hargris, a Southern California kid. So I think Nate Pickens is going to continue to get better. I think we'll just keep building off what these guys have, the table that they've set. Uh, Patrick Figueroa, KDVS. Uh, yesterday was Nate Pickens, who had a pretty good game off the bench. Today was Jamal Hartwell. Have you always preached a next man up mentality for your team? Yeah, that that just and, and always preached it. You know, and that's how I got this job myself. You know, I was the next man up, and um, it's and and then it showed up all season this year with Zion out for five games, and then losing our our starting um, forward Kyle Owens. Um, it it was a. Uh, kind of that mentality next man up and these guys were super bought into it and uh every single one of these guys on this on this uh, that played today has won us a game at some point this year so um yeah Jamal not surprising and I, he's he's very disappointed I think he he thought he could even um had a, had a better game but um yeah pr proud of him as for uh coach as for as um defending Santa Barbara what kind of makes them so hard to guard and um what challenges did they kind of present to you guys tonight? Yeah, they're the number one offense in the league for a reason, uh, efficiency-wise. Um, they have an excellent point guard, um, player of the year, A.J. Mitchell. Uh, they usually surround you with shooters. In this case, Norris usually at the four. But I thought what challenged us was, like I said, like, you know, Andre Kelly giving us a real five man to guard down there. When they put Norris at the five, it spread us out. And that's where we're giving up driving lanes. and fouling uh, we fouled a lot today and that's been our Achilles heel all year we, 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 we foul for some reason and the last two years we haven't um, and, and it showed up again today just fouling in really crucial situations putting in the line when the game's um, a one or two possession game is huge um, but I think it was because they, they were playing Norris at the five spread us out a little bit um, and then um, Bellick hit two big threes for him too so yeah, it just having shooters everywhere makes it really challenging Thank you for your time, Coach. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys.